Nobody was more excited than me that we were gonna be actually deploying somewhere to drop hammers on some dickheads. Because one, I drive a tank and love to blow shit up and run shit over. And two, I'm really fucking good at both. And they're fun as hell. However, I was less than happy about the new boot Russian driver they stuck me with. Soviet defector who came over here for an international training course and then refused to leave. He tried to defect the normal way, but since there has been a cold war since different strokes was on the air, the State Department refused his request. So then he went to plan B. He refiled his defectation paperwork, or whatever the hell you call the form he had to fill out. He said he faced political persecution due to sexual orientation. Yeah, he claimed to be gay and said that the Russian government and military were punishing him for it and that if he went back to Russia, he'd be in great physical danger, which is pretty sad and fucked up, or at least it would be if it were true. Yeah, he's not gay. In fact, I've never met a bigger poon hound in all my life. Ever since he got here, he's done nothing but watch porn on his crappy laptop and rave about the speedy Wi-Fi in the barracks. I guess in Russia, most people are still using dial-up. And when he's not busy cranking his pocket Kremlin to co-ads, he won't shut the fuck up about all the murderous bears in Russia that are constantly eating people. And how you can't even walk down the street without carrying two chainsaws duct taped to a 2x4 to fight them off with. Man, Russia sounds like a shithole. Oh well. Let's get downrange and drop some freedom on some motherfuckers. This tanker's hungry for scumbag bots.